Welcome to Office 2013 video project number 25. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, and this workbook is for video 23 to 27, click on the link below the video. Or you can go to our class website. Hey, we're still studying Excel. This is Excel Basics number 7. Hey, in this video we want to talk about what Excel does. Now it can do lots of things, but broadly speaking it does two things. Calculations and data analysis. Now calculations can be things like calculating percentage grade or a net income amount or a payroll deduction. Data analysis, that's anytime you're converting raw data into useful information. And we've seen a few examples already in this class of data analysis. We created a regional report with the SUMIFS function. We did the same regional report using a pivot table. Later in this video we'll see how we can sort a column of assembly times to show the fastest times on the top of the column. All of these examples we're going from raw data and organizing it in some useful way. All right, let's look at each one of these examples. The first couple ones we've already done, but let's just put it into context. Calculating a student percentage grade. Here's total column. For each student there's a total and there's the maximum possible for the class so we can simply do division equal sign one cell to my left divided by H12 and we lock it with a F4 key. Control enter and point to my fill handle when I see my and grab it click and drag. Click in the last cell F2. That's an example of creating a formula that calculates individual percentage grades. Here's our net income example. We already calculated our revenue for each month. We can certainly calculate our expenses equals one cell above relative cell reference times our assumed expenses as a percentage of revenue F4 to lock that. Control enter, point to our fill handle when you see our and grab it, click and drag. Click in the last cell F2. In each one of these examples we're calculating an expense. How about gross pay for each employee? We have some tax rate and we simply want to calculate the deduction for each employee. Equal sign, one cell to my left, times. E33, and I need to lock it so I hit the F4 key. Control Enter, point to my fill handle when I see my and grab it, double click and send it down. It knew to go all the way down until it's on empty cell right there. Click on the last cell, F2. Each one of these is an example of calculating a number for our deduction. Data analysis, I'm going to scroll over here. So here is a data set. We have a bunch of raw data. We already saw this example here. Some ifs. We're creating a daily sales report. Some ifs looking through the sales column, all the numbers. Then it looks through the data and only picks out the ones for the criteria, 10, 20. So that's an example of going from raw data into useful information. We could use a pivot table. In our last video, we learned the keyboard click in a single cell, doesn't matter which cell, Alt NV. It's going to guess right because we have empty cells all the way around. We want to click on an existing location. I'm going to say right below this. Click OK. My pivot table uh, list is kind of floating, but that's OK. I'm going to take date to rows, sales to values. That's an example of data analysis. We've gone from a bunch of raw data and created some useful information. Another example here, here's the name, the assembly time, and the shift. And we like to sort this column and bring all the fastest times to the top. A simple example of going from raw data into some useful information. Now sorting, we haven't done this yet. The trick is, just like the pivot table, you have to have field names at the top and then records in rows. You click in a single cell and now there's a sorting button in the editing group on the home ribbon. Data has an A to Z and a Z to A. Or you can right click. I'm going to use the right click method. And here's the thing, just like a pivot table, you select a single cell. So I'm going to right click 
sort A to Z. Now, before I do that, I've highlighted this because a lot of times when you're learning sorting for the first time, you're like, how do I know that it did the whole data set? Well, check this out. We'll, co we'll color this row and this row yellow, and when we sort them, those better stay together. Now, the same thing holds true for sorting as with pivot tables. You've got to have empty cells all the way around. And in fact, a lot of the data analysis features that we get from the data tab require that you have field names at the top and empty cells all around. But check this out. This is amazing. Right click a single cell in the column you want to sort. Sort. I'm going to say A to Z. Now A to Z is going to give us the smallest one on top. It says smallest to largest. Boop. And instantly we've sorted the entire data set. All of the records remain intact. We can see that yellow one at the bottom here. An example of going from raw data and organizing it in some way to create useful information. So Excel, absolutely amazing. We saw three examples of calculation and three examples of data analysis. And throughout the rest of the class, those are the two things we'll be doing. Lots of different examples. All right, we'll see you next video.